Terry here again. This past week, Anita, my wife and I, um, encountered or saw um, the color purple. First, we watched it as a movie with subtitles so we could get understand what was going on. Then we went to a play at a local theater where they had transformed or adapted the movie into a musical format and thoroughly enjoyed it, but also learned from it. For those of you who know the movie or the play, it covers a lot of uncomfortable subjects, let's say. Um, racial inequality or prejudice, inhumanity within races, um, as well as things such as religious harshness or bigotry, or children out of wedlock, same-sex attraction, all kinds of themes that are woven through. And there were times that I felt uncomfortable, thinking, oh boy, this isn't so entertaining, this isn't so, so much fun right here. But the play and the movie also have buoyancy of spirit and people breaking forth and redemption happening in and reconnection and has all these other themes as well. But it occurs to me um, how important the arts are. There's something about watching the movie, you know, up through our TV and so on, that's very individual, but going to that play, sitting with others around me, <clears throat> around us and all participating in that together and in uh, Southwest Michigan, a Midwest setting, as we're maybe squirming a little bit from time to time or thinking, kind of lighten up a little bit or whatever our thoughts were, being, just encountering those themes that we might want to avoid, especially if it involves kind of, uh, residual um, shadow sides in me, recognizing that I'm not watching out there something. If it's uncomfortable, it may link up to something inside me, something that I need to continue cleaning up or becoming aware of that when I react against something very strongly, I may be reacting in, against something inside of me that still needs um, awareness and cleaning up. <clears throat> but it was a good experience. The color purple. Um, a different era, time-wise. Um, different setting from Southwest Michigan, but at the same time very contemporary, very confronting. I'd even call it prophetic in terms of the old, the, the Hebrew great prophets of pointing out something that maybe we wouldn't want to pay attention to so much. So the arts are very important to us, and movies can do a lot, absolutely. Music can get through some of the barriers that we'd normally put up, but sitting in a theater production um, with others around, it makes it more real. It gets through more of the barriers. I'm more aware of myself being there. So it was a good time, an important time. Uncomfortable at times, um, entertaining much of the time. The music is wonderful, uh, uplifting at times, much of the time with buoyancy of spirit, as I said, and people growing and being transformed throughout the time, but also a, an awareness. There were some ahas in there that I'll I'll process for a while. So if you're not involved with the arts in any way, I, I encourage you to at least give it a thought, give it a consideration. And we have very rich options here in Southwest Michigan. There's community, there's the Civic Theater in Grand Rapids. There's the Hope College, the local small college that has summer, summer theater, um, as well as other, there's a Broadway 
um, series that happens in Grand Rapids that we don't go to ourselves because we have such a strong civic theater in Grand Rapids. But as opportunities present themselves, or it could be some music, just give it some thought, stretching. Talk to you next time.